Welcome to the world of Afrox. Did you know that Afrox is Sub-Saharan Africa's leading supplier of gases and welding products and that we operate in over 16 African countries with retail outlets and distributors across the continent? Not only do we offer the convenience of in-store over-the-counter products, but we can also deliver orders to your doorstep thanks to our extensive distribution network. Whatever your welding needs are, Afrox has the solution. Top of the range, great quality products that you can rely on. Afrox, the leading supplier of gas equipment in South Africa, always conforms to the necessary safety standards and therefore advises their customers, big and small, on the risks associated with using gas equipment. In addition, Afrox offers added support in the form of training. So today, we want to take you through the correct procedure for starting up and for shutting down your gas equipment to ensure a safe working environment. Now step inside our virtual demo center as we take you through the process. Before an operator uses the gas equipment, the correct startup and close down procedures must be followed at all times. The following visual checks must be conducted before lighting the torch. When standing in front of the cylinder trolley, the fuel gas cylinder must be situated on the left side of the cylinder trolley. The cylinder trolley must not slant more than 20 degrees from vertical axis. Regulators must always face the front of the cylinder trolley. Ensure that the correct regulators are used for the right gas type and that they conform to the SANS 2503 specifications. Gauges on the regulators must be in a good working condition to ensure that the correct outlet pressures are set. No PTFE tape connections on regulator inlets and outlets should be used. Only approved flashback arresters conforming to the SANS 50730-1 specifications must be fitted and used on the regulator outlets and torch inlets and on both gas lines. Hoses must be properly connected to hose fittings, nipples and nuts, as well as to regulator and torch mounted flashback arresters. Follow the correct procedures when connecting hoses to the hose tails, nipples and nuts. Perished hose ends must be cut off and rejoined before equipment is used. Only use O-clips to secure hose ends to hose tail fittings, nipples and nuts as Jubilee type clips and cap clamps will damage the hoses. Only approved hoses conforming to the SANS 3821 specification are allowed to be used. Use parallel hose clips to keep hoses together. Do not use cable ties or any similar devices as the hoses need to be separated in the event of a fire. Cutting torch tubes must not be bent. Torch control valves must be in a good working condition. Ensure that the gland nuts on the torch control valves are properly tightened by using the correct sized flat spanner. Do not use an adjustable spanner or plumber spanner on gas equipment. Ensure that the right size nozzle is used for the desired plate thicknesses. Before the gas cutting and welding equipment is used, the correct startup procedure must be followed at all times. After the operator has completed the correct visual check procedure, you can now follow the correct startup procedures. Open the fuel gas cylinder valve first. Two slow turns only, always standing to the side of the cylinder trolley. Open the oxygen cylinder valve, two slow turns only in the anti-clockwise direction, also ensuring that you stand to the side of the cylinder trolley. Visually check the regulator contents pressure gauges for cylinder contents. Set working pressure on regulator with torch control valves in the open position, then close the valve again. Do the same with the oxygen torch control valve. Check for gas leaks by using the Afrox leak test solution and ensure to follow the correct gas leak test procedures. Namely, 
gas cylinder valve outlet and regulator inlet stems and nuts, regulator gauge inlets, high pressure safety release valves, regulator outlet and flashback arrester inlets, flashback arrester hose joints. On hose joints, if hoses are joined together with equal hose joiners, torch mounted flashback arrester inlets, torch control valves and gland nuts, Torch tubes entering angle head on cutting torch. Cutting torch nozzle nut. Purge hoses. First the fuel gas line by opening torch control valve and then closing it again. Then do the same with the oxygen gas line. Open the fuel gas torch control valve and light up at the nozzle using a flint or friction lighter. Then open the oxygen torch control valve and set a proper preheating flame. You are now ready to weld or cut. After the operator has completed the job, the following shutdown procedures must be followed at all times. Close the cylinder valves, first the fuel gas and then the oxygen cylinder valve. Purge hoses by opening the fuel gas torch control valve first. Vent the gas into the atmosphere and ensure that the pressure on both gauges returns to zero. Turn the adjusting knob of the acetylene regulator in an anti-clockwise direction until it stops, then a half a turn back. Close the torch control valve properly. Repeat this for the oxygen gas line as well. Do not wind hoses around the cylinder trolley, but utilize the hooks provided on the back of the cylinder trolley. As Africa's leading gases and welding company, we are passionate about welding and we're here to help you get the best welds possible. Using the Afrox range of welding machines, accessories, consumables and personal protective gear will ensure that you get the perfect weld every time.